Hello, Arnold friends, and welcome to the Legion Beta first look of the Mistweaver Monk. This is going to get a little strange, mostly because some of the things I will show you on this changed class are a little bit crazy. For the most part, though, let me rattle off my bugs that I have found, just to see when they get fixed, of course. These are just a couple, really. There's only a few. But uh, Manatee, using it, has no animation. It just, like, happens, as you just see there. Also, uh, Crackling Jade Lightning, if you recast it during the animation, it just bugs out and just, like, nothing happens. You just stand there. So, that needs to get fixed. Uh, you're summoning your Jade Serpent statue. It channels a 20-second Soothing Mist. It does not pick a new target until the channel has been completed, which I'll get to when I actually get a Jade uh, Serpent statue as a summon. And we'll... See how that goes from there. Those are the only real things I really noticed. There is um, a couple of little bits and pieces that people like pointed out that we looked at, and tooltips that actually have just fine annotations for what they need to have. But um, for the most part, that's all I found out from Mr. Monk. It's weird. So overall, big changes for Mr. Monk is going to be that you, as you notice, there's no chi. It's gone. It's gonzo. Also, there's no fist weaving anymore. There's no fist weaving. There's no damage from healing or healing from damage. It's gone. You can still DPS. It's a pretty simple rotation where you use your Tiger Palm in between abilities because it buffs the next one you use. And Blackout Kick can reset Rising Sun. But basically, it's a Tiger Palm something, Tiger Palm something, Tiger Palm something rotation and you saw a spinning crane kick so you can aoe some things or you can always just spam cjl so you can still do some damage as a mistweaver but you are not fist weaving any longer so soothing mist is now a passive where it's whenever you effuse enveloping mist or vivify you also trigger soothing mists after casting any of these spells you will continue to channel healing mist into the target healing them for an amount every 0.4 seconds as you get more haste it ticks faster until you take another action or you choose a talent which i have had right here with soothing elegance i'll bring up right now which makes your soothing mist channel while moving and does 30 percent increased healing which is sort of how it is i think on live if i'm not totally mistaken so this is sort of a live buff plus the increased healing amount that channels with your soothing mist passive now it's no longer a spell you just hit it actually just happens as you heal a target and it's like Pfft. there it is like there 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 is the the stuff and the things for some reason my healing pop-ups are not working there they go so there they are when they pop up with the original heal obviously my combat blog is gonna roll right here behind the screen uh what else have we got here uh your new mastery gust of mists like Holy freaking brand new mastery. No more balls. I'm sorry. I can't step on your balls anymore. No matter how much you liked it when you were a Mistweaver, it's gone now. So every targeted heal causes a gust of healing mist that instantly heals them for an additional on the hit healing amount. So by default with like no mastery, it are, it, the, the mastery effect will increase the actual heal that happens. All right. So the heal that hits you is increased by your mastery just flat out. I have mastery on, what, this cloak? No. Necklace? Where is it? Cloak, yeah. So if I take off this cloak, it goes to the base amount, which is apparently 0.64%, which that equals the 3386. So putting that on brings it up to 3900 even. So mastery, pretty good stat. Haste, also pretty powerful. This might be your two best stats. I'm not sure. Who, who knows? Who am I? And then Vivify is sort of like Uplift, where it will heal your target and two nearest injured allies for a whole lot. And then it, it synergizes with Renewing Mist, that whenever Renewing Mist heals, it has a 4% chance to increase the healing of your next Vivify by 50%. So it's like a back and forth of blanketing your Renewing Mists properly, getting your extra Vivify procs to either burst heal on a tank or to help blanket and heal the raid. So, sorry, the bow noises over there are a little loud, so we'll go over here. Essence font is new. It's sort of your AoE channeled heal. It is a channel. And it hits up to six allies every second. So, it can heal 18. 
because it, the channel is increased by haste, so it's only 2.6 seconds right now. You have a lot of haste in this starting gear, 15.5%, basically. So, pretty quick amount of channel on this one. So, it hits each target, each bolt every second will heal for an amount, and then each target that gets healed will have a small hot on them. Uh, if Fuse is basically heal as your Surging Mist, I believe is what it's called. It's your fast, effective heal, uh, efficient heal, and effective, maybe. And, and then heals the target for a flat amount, 40 out range, low mana cost. You can spam it all day, basically. Enveloping Mist, you're a big bread and butter, short, hot, with a healing amp baked into it. So lots of mana. Kind of a long cast time. I was told it's a long cast time. 1.73 seconds is not very long cast time. And then all of your healing received uh, on that target that they receive from you is healed by uh, extra 30% bonus. So, pretty powerful stuff overall. And Revival's still here. Still the same thing. Yeah, I mean, that's everything for your healing talents. It's pretty straightforward, I think. I mean, you're going to still want to keep up your mists. You're going to want to... There's a the Vivify proc right there. Boop. You're going to want to enveloping mist people that get bursted down and then maybe spam some vivifies on them or some uh, effuses. And then you've got your one little channeled AoE heal here. If you, you know, that's what you have base without being tanking talents. So Manatee is now a talent now, as I'll go through a little bit here. One minute cooldown, it just reduces all the mana cost of your spell by 50% for 10 seconds. So if you want to go like nitpicking, it's a 50 second cooldown because it lasts for 10. But... This is your big rotational, make sure you use Manatee on cooldown or when you're about to go into crazy burst healing phases where maybe you want to spam Rushing Jade Wind, or Refreshing Jade Wind, rather, not Rushing. And uh, maybe you want to RJW into a uh, Essence Font, right? Do it under Manatee, obviously mana effective, make sure you're not just wasting your mana. Zen Pulse is new. This is interesting. So it's a damaging ability that will hit an ally and deal a flat amount of damage to all enemies within 8 yards of them. And then the ally is healed for the amount of damage done. So it looks like this. Well, I gotta talk about myself first. Derp. And then boom, and then boom. And it's straight back. Like, the three hits, boom, 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 go right back to me. It's just a complete additive. It adds these three up and gives it to the person. That's it. Chi burst is the same. Still that 40 yards forward, long dealing nature, slap, it deals damage and heals people. 30 second cooldown. It's a Hadouken. But this is pretty neat. If it crits, it gives it right back to you in the crit. It just adds these up. You know, 3 hits, 5 hits, 12 hits, 10 hits. I don't know if it's a diminishing return on the amount of healing you can receive from it. But, ah, uh -uh. Let's figure that out when it comes out. Chi Torpedo has moved. No longer has damage and healing. It is only for movement. It is going... It has the momentum buff built into it. So... I felt like this, this spec feels like it's very much a fluid, almost assaulting way to heal. So I already talked about Uplift is gone. Rolled into Vivify, renewing Miss Synergy. Uh, oh, new Thunder Focus T. Let's go over to that real quick. So Thunder Focus T has a 45 second cooldown where you receive a Jolt of Energy and empowers the next spell you cast. So if you notice, it lasts for 30 seconds with a 45 second cooldown. So like on a pull, you can kind of put it up early and then... You can cast your two uh, Renewing Mists on the pole, so you can have them up. And then you can have the cooldown back up again to re-Thunder Focus T, you know, 15 seconds into the fight or so instead of 45. After you use it once in the pull or whatever. But it increases your rene Renewing Mist, doesn't trigger a cooldown, so you can cast two. If Fuse gets double buffed, basically, by doing more damage, Enveloping Mist is instant cast, so you don't have to actually cast it itself. And then Essence Font, it may be channeled while moving, and Vivify costs no mana. So... A lot of bouncing around here, a lot of potential gameplay choices for the Mistweaver to choose how to use their Thunder Focus T. And while we're on this topic, Focus Thunder is that your Thunder Focus T now empowers your next three spells. So yes, that means you can do this and you can cast Renewing Mist four times. So you can have four out in the raid at one time. Additionally, that means you can cast three vivifies for no mana cost. You can channel, um, what's it called? Essence font multiple times while moving if you need to. You can cast three instant enveloping mists. Like put it on the tank, heal it a little bit, put it on the tank again, heal it a little bit, do whatever you want. So lots of interesting synergy with this new Thunder Focus T. 
I think it's pretty sweet. While we're on this topic, I will bring up Mist Walk is your other level 100 talent. This thing is a little ridiculous. Mostly because its distance is 40 yards and you blink to the target, instantly healing them like Brightwing from Heroes of the Storm. So here's 40 yards. Boop. No real crazy animation when you land there. But the movement potential is insane. I will now summon my spirit of the uh, the Jade Statue Serpent. Serpent Spirit Statue Jade Serpent. You can blink to it. It's immune to the heal, obviously. So between roll or chi torpedo and transcendence, and of course transcendence transfer, ah, uh, you can cover some serious ground and be really slippery as a mist weaver, which is kind of you know I guess thematic, right? Because you're you're mist weaving. Invoking Chi G the Red Crane is kind of buggy. I don't know if this is gonna how it's gonna happen, but Chi Chi just spawns and runs around and heals people like this. I'm pretty sure it's not intentional that he jumps around all weird like this. I I, I wonder. You can also heal. Hi, Chi Chi. You can also heal him because I assume in PvP he can be killed because he has your HP, 100% of your HP. I don't I don't. I don't, hi. I don't know. Three minute cooldown for 45 seconds of duration, and he just jumps around every like one second and heals people. Rushing Jade Wind, it, or refreshing Jade Wind. I keep saying rushing. Same exact thing as it is. Tons of mana cost, AoE heal component. Six allies within eight yards. Right? And you can put up RJW while you are, you know, a Zen pulsing into a Essence font, of course. So, pretty powerful stuff there. I don't know. Chi-G is interesting. It's weird. People like the animation or hate it. I think it's entirely goofy. I don't think you'll see it in a raid, but I don't know. Um... Song of Chi Ji I have on here right now. This is a skill shot that anything enemy touches this cloud, they get put to sleep. Like you see right there, I just put the dungeon nears training dummy to sleep, which will put me in combat, which is totally fine. But he's asleep. So possible uses: it's it's on the leg sweep tier as well. As Ring of Peace has been changed, where enemies in the ring that cast a harmful spell or ability will be knocked out of the ring. You put the ring on someone, and they get bumped out of it protects healers and DPS maybe in dungeons or PvP or I don't know. It's cool. It's your CC tier. So it has some cool interactions, I guess, but I don't I haven't done much stuff on monks. I don't know. So the last bit of things here is life cycles. So whenever you vivify or vice versa, with between enveloping mist and vivify, it will reduce the cooldown. Sorry I can't say certain words like vivify. It sounds super weird, but this is the buff. So life cycle vivify. So now I can cast vivify with 30% less mana cost. Then I can cast uh, and help it miss for 30% less mana cost. So it's sort of a mana. There's no mana T in this. There's mana T. There's no uh, what was it called? Ascension. Like those are gone. So you have life cycles if you're worried about mana for casting your more expensive spells. Crane's Grace is that whenever a new renewing mist is on a target that drops below 30% health, they will be healed for a ton and consume the mist possible cool oh crap but you have to have it on a person i mean if you have focus thunder and you're blanking the rig with four of them it might save someone's life but it's kind of awkward or if you know a ton of damage is about to spike you can focus thunder and drop out four renewing mist and maybe uh, one or two of them will pop and heal someone and, and save their life mist wrap however is enveloping mist's duration is increased by two seconds and it goes from a 30 percent healing bonus to a 50 percent healing bonus pretty huge it makes enveloping mist really strong so that's up to you to decide what you want to spec between your 90s your 100s and your 45 and a little bit your 15 uh for how you're going to heal i think a lot has changed for mist weavers there's definitely some other crazy things yeah i say 45s are all kind of game changers so mist walk is crazy i said real talk or real walk uh, Focus Thunder is super potent. You can blanket out Renewing Mist or Burst with Envelop and Vivify. And Soothing Elegance uh, for channeling and moving Soothing Mist, and it's also 30% stronger. So these two had to be really powerful, because this is kind of crazy. This is more about mobility than healing, because obviously Focus Thunder with Thunder Focus T is going to be a huge healing component, but a lot has changed. If you have any comments on this video, you can leave them down below. Hit that like button. Helps me out a whole lot if you enjoy these little one-off looky-loos. 
And we'll do more in the future, of course. We'll do artifacts, and then we'll do a second pass in a couple of months. Thank you all so much for watching. You can check out my Patreon page if you want to help support me and what I do over here. It helps me out a great deal. You can all subscribe to my YouTube channel. The button's down there, I think. And uh, keep up with all these different updates. And you can check out my live stream if you want to check out the entire VOD. It's in the link down below. Or it's on my channel guide on my Twitch page. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a great morning or night or afternoon or whatever comes your next comes your way next comes your next it's been a long day of testing bye everybody <laughs>